Hello and welcome to our video on heating the atmosphere. In this video we will describe heat and we'll list the three major mechanisms of heat transfer. We'll also describe how the atmosphere is affected by heat transfer mechanisms. So before we go any further, let's talk a little bit about heat. Heat is a form of energy and we can transfer that energy by three different methods. Um, we have conduction, which is simply by touch. And most of this is going to be transferred from the molecules of one to molecules of another. So by touch, if the molecules of one has more energy, it's going to appear hotter and it's going to have faster moving molecules. Those faster moving molecules will collide with the other object when they touch and that'll cause the other object to heat up like the spoon here we see in our container. We can also have convection and convection is energy flow and that's going to be in liquids and gases so we call those things fluids so it's a fluid flow transfer of energy is heat and that's what we'll see in our atmosphere where we have the gases and things like that but we notice we also have space and space has no gases it's empty it's a vacuum for the most part so we have our third way of transferring energy which we call radiation and that's going to be like in the stream of electromagnetic waves Okay, so we have this radiation, which is like our light energy, which is going to be transferred through a vacuum, and that's how energy gets to the Earth. We have our convection, which is what happens in the atmosphere, and that's where energy is going to flow. And then we can also have energy transfer from heat as conduction when two things are touching. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about radiation. Radiation from the sun comes to us in the form of electromagnetic waves, and we can see the entire spectrum ranging from gamma rays to shortwave radio waves, and we're primarily focusing with visible light. That's what we can see. Now, when we're talking about this radiation, we're talking that transfer of energy from the sun to the earth through the vacuum of space. Okay, and there are four laws that are gonna kinda govern radiation. First, all objects radiate energy. Hotter objects tend to radiate more total energy than colder objects. The hottest radiating bodies produce the shortest wavelengths of maximum radiation. So as they get hotter, the wavelengths are gonna get a little bit shorter. And then finally, objects that are good absorbers of radiation are good emitters as well. So these four laws help us work with radiation. I just want you to know they're here. Primarily, I want you to remember that radiation is the way that heat is transferred from the sun to the earth in the form of electromagnetic waves. Okay, so let's take a look at solar radiation and that's what comes from the sun. Before we do, I wanna explain two terms. They are reflection and scattering. Reflection is like a mirror. That ray is gonna come in and it's gonna bounce off. It's just gonna be reflected away. Scattering is when you have that ray of light come in and then it's going to be thrown out in all different directions. So it's going to be scattered out. So those are two different things I want you to be familiar with. Now, this graph that we have over here, we have 100% of solar radiation. And then notice we have this 30% loss to space by reflection or scattering. This is a total. This isn't going to be part of what happens to the sunlight that's coming in. This is just adding up this part, this part, and this part. Then notice it's 5 plus 20 plus 5. That gives us our 30. So we're just going to kind of get rid of this part so it doesn't confuse us. And what we'll notice is we have 5% lost by the atmosphere, 20% is reflected from the clouds, and then 5% is reflected from land and sea surfaces. And primarily that's going to be ice and our lighter colors. So 30% of the energy that comes from the sun is bounced back into space. And that's what this was telling me up here. The other 70%, 20% is gonna be absorbed by the atmosphere and the clouds. And then 50% is gonna be absorbed by the land and the sea. So we can see that 70% of the sun's radiation sticks with us, it heats us up, 30% is gonna be bounced back. Okay, well that's it for our video. As always, it'll go into a little more detail in the lesson. And good luck on your quiz, and of course, we'll see you in the next video.